The ongoing conflict in Sudan has hampered food distribution in the country by different stakeholders. Transporting food in the conflict-ridden regions has been made difficult by several factors that include bandits on the roads and shooting insecurity. Among those most affected are children. We're working um, uh, every possible angle and we're constantly in touch with uh, all parties to ensure that food can go through. It isn't easy. It takes constant work. Uh, food is going, but not enough. It's clear that far more work needs to be done. And frankly, unless we have security, it's hard to see how we're going to get the, the quantities that are required for this population. UNICEF said there are some 18 million children at least who are out of schools in Sudan and further assured that they are working to ensure that communities have access to both food and education. You owe it to the children. It doesn't matter what hat you're wearing, you owe it to your children. Uh, the future of Sudan depends on a ceasefire. It depends on children being able to go back to school. It depends on children, children being immunized. It may depend on children having access to critical services. Without a ceasefire, without peace, this is impossible. According to UNICEF, Sudan is experiencing a child protection emergency and they have stressed that the future of Sudan depends on a ceasefire.